Welcome back, Star Wars fans. This is going to be a spoiler-free movie review for Star Wars The Last Jedi. <clears throat> and mostly for the world premiere experience. Um, as we all know, the world premiere was this weekend. And it was everything that you would expect it to be, basically. Uh, the Force Awakens back in 2015, they had a movie premiere that was actually three different theaters. They had four blocks shut down and had it at the, uh, the Grauman Theater, <clears throat> I think the Kodak Theater, and probably like an IMAX theater. can't remember, but... Um, it was like three different video, three different theaters, all in four blocks. So, uh, I was lucky enough to be invited to the premiere. I, somebody who, I've partnership with uh, Lucasfilm and uh, Kenner Hasbro for the last actually three decades or so, and I just so happen to live close to LA, anyways. So it is a benefit to live on the West Coast. <laughs> lots of Hollywood premieres, lots of red carpet events. They're almost like, uh, if you live this close to LA, it not even a big deal anymore. But uh, to me, Star Wars is a big deal because it was always my favorite movie growing up. And um, I eventually even became a retailer who retails you know, sells Star Wars figures, <clears throat> collectibles, movie memorabilia. Uh, my primary thing was sports memorabilia, but I've contributed artwork. I've done <clears throat> lots of different stories and ideas, submitted them to Lucasfilm. Some of them have been published. Some of them have not. Um, but I've always had some type of a uh, little bit of a, relationship with either Lucasfilm and uh, also Kenner Hasbro. So I was very excited to once again go to another premiere. I've been to uh, several of them. So um, I will say this. They definitely make it to be like a uh, once-in-a-lifetime experience. To me, af actually, the best part is like the after party, especially if you're not one of the lucky people to um, actually screen the film or actually see the film. Um, there was a lot of people that saw The Force Awakens on opening night because there were several theaters actually for the opening event. Um, even... Well, it was actually only a, a day before the actual premiere itself, like the regular premiere for everybody else anyway. But, you know, like Bob Iger, the head dude from Disney was there. And, uh, yeah, so this, this year was a lot of the same. Uh, Bob Iger was there, Mark Hamill, you know, all the people you would expect to be there, such as, uh, you know, all the stars in the movie. Um, I personally met Chewbacca, the guy who plays Chewbacca. Uh, I saw Andy Gutierrez from the Star Wars show. She looked gorgeous, by the way. Uh, thanks for the autograph, Andy. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, so there were... Wicket was there, you know, Warwick Davis. Um, the only one that really... I mean, the, the big... The big one that I really wished would have been there, but obviously she can't, was Carrie Fisher. It would have been a great, great um, experience. But um, her presence was definitely kind of felt anyway. I mean, she's in the film. And, uh, yeah, so the after party, I believe, you know, just... Uh, a lot of people are there, but they can't see everything going on the red carpet. You know, you can't see everybody driving up, everybody arriving. I mean, you can to some extent, but there's like, you know, several kind of like blocks worth of space, you know, allocated to this one event. And 
so a lot of people get to see them but um obviously you can't see the red carpet for three blocks away <laughs> but yeah uh it was it was quite the experience it was great it was awesome um the film um if you have seen all of the trailers and the TV spots that you know they've already released or even the toys, the figures, the Hasbro merchandise, the vehicles, stuff like that. Personally, um, I mean, you kind of already know what's going on as far as the film goes. You kind of have the general idea. But uh, if I were to describe it without any spoilers, I would use just one word more just more and more and more everything in this um more action more lightsaber battles more vehicle battles spaceships you know they're just everything was amped up revved up uh the force awakens i would say kind of had a little bit of an original trilogy like original star wars type pace this one seemed to be just a little bit, like I said, more. <laughs> There's just more of it, more, more <laughs> everything. I can't really say a whole lot without, you know, uh, saying too much. But uh, for the general Star Wars fans in general, uh, for e even old trilogy fans, I think are going to like this movie. I know a lot of people, such as uh, somebody like Paul Harrison, on my co-host for uh, First Jedi podcast. Uh, he's a real critic as far as the um, Force Awakens. He doesn't even acknowledge it as a sequel or whatever. And I kind of had I had a lot of issues with it too the first time I saw it, and I just didn't think it was a sequel. And uh, the more I got to watch it, the more I got to accept it. And this is basically the hand that we're dealt. This is what, um, I mean, these are the official films. These are the Lucasfilm films. Um, you know, Ray's in it, Kylo Ren, Poe Dameron, Finn. Those are the main characters now. <clears throat> and BB-8, I mean... Um, they did. They did create an iconic character, I guess you could say, right there with BB-8, the robot. I mean, he's a uh, innovative, new kind of droid. You know, he's a ball that rolls, but his head never moves. <laughs> it always stays up top. And uh, great as a toy too. You know, great as a. You know, that was a big hit with the uh, the mobile app or mobile phone version where you can. They sell out everywhere. Um, yeah, um, and Rogue One, they had K2SO, but he's kind of disappeared, really, because that was just a one-off. He's a Galactic Empire droid, but he was reprogrammed for the Rebel you know, purposes. But as far as... <coughs> um, sorry. The... Uh, just just the atmosphere itself i saw a lot of like the difference of course you know there's a lot more cosplayers there's a lot more heavy duty fans at this type of event you know we, i saw a lot of people dressed up as old man luke skywalker in the you know the wider type robe i mean or the light tan robe and they uh there, there was some really great cosplay there. Just the experience talking to the fans. You don't even have to talk about the movie or even you don't have to talk about like a, what you expect or what, you know, or rate the films or just just the experience all, all, all over, you know, together. It's just great. Uh, like Gwendolyn Christie, uh, she was there. Uh, they had a Captain Phasma car. It was phenomenal looking. And uh, she was like telling um oh i don't remember the guy's name but the star wars show co-host not andy but the guy 
I forget his name all the time, but I think it was him that she was talking to that she was saying she wanted that phasma car. What does she have to do to get that phasma car? And, uh, yeah, but as far as the film, you know, like I said, it's just more, it's more, just more of this, more of that. I think in general, people are going to find this much more enjoyable than the force awakens a few weeks ago. They were talking, let's say like the actor who plays Snoke or Mark Hamill, his performance they were, they were saying Academy award type stuff, but you know, I don't know. I mean, you're, you're just gonna have to watch the film yourself, but the, uh, do they deserve to win awards for this movie? Um, no, it just depends on what kind of category you're talking about. Uh, it's a great movie. It's definitely above average. It's, um, I think, going to please a lot more people than, um, than, than The Force Awakens did. And even the critics, are like like the person I mentioned before, from Jedi to Four, guys, he, uh, I think he, he will even find good things to say about it. I can't say he's going to say it's this good original trilogy. Um, no, if anybody will ever um, say that the new version of Star Wars is just as good as the original trilogy, but maybe in the future, not really sure. Um, we got a different director for Episode Nine. It might change the tone dramatically because I think the tone changed quite a bit in this movie. Like I said, there's just more action. It's more action-packed. This is an action-oriented movie. It's not a war movie like Rogue One, but it's very different than Force Awakens. It's similar, but better, I believe. And so I strongly suggest that if, if you like The Force Awakens, definitely see it. If you are just a general Star Wars fan, go see it. If uh, just go see it, because it's a good movie, even if you're not a Star Wars fan. <laughs> so, yeah, um, i give it two thumbs up, I guess. Uh, it's uh, it's different, and there's, a, I guess, a few surprises. I mean, like I said, if you've seen the trailers, you kind of already know it's going to happen. For the most part, the only um, thing, the vehicles... They're there, but I um, think that the designs could be a little bit better, in my opinion. Not quite original trilogy good, in my opinion. But uh, same with, believe it or not, some of the costumes. Especially for the Resistance. and I don't know, just... That might be part of the reason why it kind of feels a little different. Um, it's kind of all still in the Star Wars universe, but I think there's some iconic imagery that is missing or creative or aliens or um, just some of that stuff that you saw like in the New Hope, but Cantina and stuff like that. Um, but Ryan Johnson, I mean, Everybody knows about the Porgs, the little bird dudes, and the um, the crystalline foxes. And, uh, I mean, they're introducing new aliens, new characters. They're, they're, there are new aliens in the movie. But they, uh, I don't know, the, it's a little bit better than The Force Awakens in that aspect. And uh, so... Yeah, just go go see the movie. It's great. So, um, I' not really gonna stick around and talk about it too much more. But uh, I mean, I don't want to ruin anything. So it's hard not to even say anything right now. But uh, legally, I can't anyway. So not till the fifteenth when it originally or officially is released. So, yeah. Um, Go see Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi.